Crappy? Crappy? Wait, ignore that. Crappy, okay. You didn't see that, it's just OBS is breaking. Crappy, go! I... Whatever, we're just Look, gonna... I saw it. Okay. I don't know what's happening here, Corndan. Crappy is being crappy. Wait, other people... Apparently it worked. It's just not working for me, so whatever. There you go. Hey, everybody! We've got the reveal. Wow, it's like Corndan is the GM. Who could have guessed? Oh, well, yeah, who would have guessed? Hey, Corndan, how you doing? I'm, I'm here with a documentary game of sorts about the greatest band that has ever existed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which band? Um, some of you might have heard of them, right? But, the, you know, the, this game about the documentary, it's, it's older... Right, but you might have heard of the um, the band, the greatest band in the world, the band that brings peace to everybody, Wild Stallions. Oh yeah, I love the Wild Stallions. And this is about the documentary about how we save, how, how, how the Wild Stallions get saved with their pal Rufus. Uh, Rufus, you know, to, to make sure that we save the world in the future. Yeah, you gotta save the past to save the future, everybody. So, right, you might even call this game about a documentary an excellent adventure yeah yeah everybody we are doing that we are going with bill and ted excellent adventure for amiga for the amiga for amiga, for the amiga. Yeah. you know what we've Which had the, the DOS version the DOS before version. uh yeah let's do the same sure the amiga, the amiga is not bad to set up we actually had to make a new configuration file for our Amiga setup just for this game. It's the only game that I've seen so far that refuses to play and PAL, it has to play in NTSC. So we had to make a new config file just to make it happen. Heck yeah. And as is tradition, uh, I'm going to have to recapture everything yep. once we get started because it's Amiga and that's what we do when it comes to the Amiga. Well, let's go ahead. I will get the prediction up right now because obviously, uh, that is going to be very, very important. We have our four yeah. players, Lon, TTR, Peachy Chan, Reign of Soten, and Netman Matt, who will be trying to make as much progress as they can in an hour. Whoever collects the most dudes will win. Whoever... Well, it's more than that. Oh, really? If they... If they well, there's 12 dudes to get, and if they get all 12 dudes, they're going to get a score, and so whoever has the highest score wins... If nobody gets all 12 dudes, then whoever gets the most dudes wins. Okay, so uh, dudes, if multiple people collect all the dudes, then it's high score. What if they all collect like three dudes? Then whoever got the third dude first wins. Ah, perfect. All right, everybody, go ahead and get your voting fingers out or your betting fingers out. We are betting channel points and nothing more, okay? Try to bet anything else, I'll kick your butt. Yeah, that's it. I won't, I won't, I won't get sponsored by, uh, by gambling stuff, and neither will I let you gamble. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I'm hungry. <laughs> but I think it's about time for us to start. Let me go and check with. No, I, I got to make sure that the music's working. Come on, Bob Blazer, you're have, cool. Have them. Yeah, there really isn't a whole lot of music. In fact, I don't think there is any music. There's some sounds. There's some music at the capstone um, title screen, but there's not really music in, in game. I definitely hear music right now. Yeah, this is not gonna be lasting the entire time, but uh, at least we have this. This kind of sounds sticky. Not as sticky as X-Men, but sticky nonetheless, you know? It's fine. It's like the difference between uh, the sticky hands and molasses. You know, one of them, it'll stick on you for a little bit, but the other is molasses and is a nightmare to get off. Oh my gosh, I messed stuff up. Okay, why? Why is it showing Netman playing? That is incorrect. Okay, 
Sometimes my Excel spreadsheet does stupid stuff. I'll get this fixed right now. Here we go. Excel, fix it for me. Many thanks for correcting that chat. I appreciate it because I would have been confused. Let me go ahead and get uh, rid of the prediction then because, uh, oops. Delete and return the points. Okay, start a new prediction. Start prediction, bam. And we need to uh, actually have the correct people on it. Sorry, if you already predicted, you're gonna have to do it again because I messed everything up. Okay. Or maybe I got it right. I don't know. There. Okay, and I am ready. Okay, I don't like this music, Corn Dan. I gotta be honest. Well, that's I'm... fine. It won't be here much longer. Good. Okay, it looks like rain is ready. Peachy Chan, Salmon Buffalo, and I'm just waiting for Lon to confirm. And it looks like we are getting some typing. And there we go. It is time. Chat, I need you to spam your most excellent emotes and nothing bogus okay no bogus so spam. many bogus things no 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 what, no whatever you think is bogus okay fine only spam bogus 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 anything crappy including crappy okay and as soon as i see movement i will start our timer come on spam 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 okay <laughs> So, so welcome to the weirdest um, adventure game that that you want, right? Yeah. Um. So you have to go get twelve dudes, and, and we're using dudes in the um the the you know non gender sense. You know, men and women can both be dudes. Salmon Buffalo's game crashed. So I will go ahead and say, uh, reset the emulator. Uh, yeah, I, I would, I would say that. Yeah. In general, if the game crashes, uh, you know, Cusa Grande, we don't rule out crashes completely. Sometimes they happen. Welcome to life. However, uh, you know, when it's right at the beginning, we uh, can be a little bit more forgiving and uh, issue a little bonus time if it gets close at the end. If it looks like, you know, bonus time isn't going to help, obviously, we're not going to worry about it. Whoa! Whoa! I, I love it. Okay, we're at Curdy Cola over on Peachy Chan's side, and meanwhile, Rain is doing, I think, your favorite part of the game. Well, so in the DOS version, you can just clip through all this. Oh, you can? Yeah. It's been a little while. I, I do enjoy the sampled sounds. I think anybody who is a fan of... Uh, not Back to the Future, Bill and Ted, duh. Anybody no, a fan of Bill and Ted will enjoy the sampled sounds. They're fun. So in, in this particular case, right, what's important here is um, we, uh, right, I told them they could go get them in any order they want, right? They just want to go collect the dude. So I expect that people are going to try to take a couple of different approaches uh, here. Honestly, the easiest one is... Probably, you know, I always start with um, Socrates. Okay. Because it's not, it, it's one of the stupidest ones to do. Like, if you're doing speed runs, it's, it's the run killer. Um, and, and you'll see when we get there, right? The other one's Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is both Rain and Salmon are both at Joan of Arc. The Joan of Arc's easy because you don't have to go find anything for Joan of Arc. Yeah, I'm trying. You just. Oh, oh no, there's a really bad joke in this about Joan of Arc. Yeah, she's really hot. She's really hot. 
<laughs> Thank you for the music there. I appreciate it. Video game. Bogus. Bogus. So, so the reason I don't like, uh, you know, some of this is, or I start with this, is you can see where, where Peachy Chan is, right? We're going up, you know, the mountain, and um, and and this platforming's really bogus. You know, if you're not on on the gray, it's a problem. It's actually the one thing, right? That that, that almost caused the veto, right? That was the only thing Peachy Chan could remember about the game. Like I've seen it, but I don't know anything about it. I think it's this. Could be another Bill and Ted game. Uh, but it really doesn't help you. And because there's no, there's no um, Sierra, you know, adventure game BS. It's not really a problem. Well, this looks so much more doable in the Amiga on, on version. The Amiga? Yeah. Wow, it's almost like that whole mountain it's quest like doable? is yeah. doable? What the crap? So I have to ask you, Corndan, because uh, if they do collect all of the dudes, the score is going to matter. Uh, how yep. is the score affect? How do you actually get a higher score? So um, this game, in that sense, is very speedrunner friendly in that the faster you get all the dudes back, because the... The, the time doesn't stop running in San Demos, right? So the faster you get them back, the higher your score is. Very nice. Okay. I actually really like that, you know, having a built-in speed run in order to get high yeah. score. Yeah. So, uh, basically, right, there's a couple of, uh, you know, spots here. Right, that you know are are doable, um, or problematic. But I mean, everything looks fine. So when you're looking at this, if you're you're trying to be like, who, what, what matters, right? So if you see the the like portrait border around all the portraits, right, like it's turned yellow, it means they haven't gotten them back to Sandimos. Okay. Um, if it's black. They've returned them, so they can only they can only carry two dudes with them at a time, right? And the big part about the speed run is like managing which dudes you go collect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing the knowing a decent order so that you can grab two dudes and get back without wasting a whole bunch of time. Yep. Doodle -doo. Doodle -doo -doo. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, Right now, it looks like all of the players are making some decent progress here, and it, it's kind of understandable. All of the players here took second in their first match. They are uh, pretty similar, at least when it comes to that. However, uh, having sort of an adventure dude collect-a-thon here isn't a typical genre, you know? This is very different no, I... from what you would normally get in Cusa Grande. In a weird way, too, right? Like, it's also a better game than the other Bill and Ted games. Like, we could give out, like, Bill and Ted, right, for um, for the NES, right? And I it is, like, love real it. bad. It's bad. It's so bad. Like, right? chat. And so th this, this game is not good, but at least, like, it feels not good in a way that they tried to do something here, right? Yeah. So, like, for example, what, what Lon needs to do right now is go get beat up. Well, or, or go beat them up, right? And, and walk over, because Billy the Kid's going to get thing of, of cheating, right? Bad Billy. Oh, I remember there was an issue with the DOS version at right. Billy the Kid. I did tell them they can save, right? Okay. That, you know, from a speedrun standpoint, like, there's outside of, like... Um, like outside of like the weird like speed run like ish stuff, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that it's like a uh, you would you right the the DOS version like soft locks here, right? Sometimes, and I don't even know yeah. why. Yeah. Uh, the Amiga version doesn't, 
So I told them they could save if they wanted, but it's not really going to matter. There's no Sierra anything. Um, yeah, I and, saw Rain you went, know, like, reset the emulator for some reason or another. Yeah, but, like, thank goodness uh, there wasn't a crash in Billy the Kid's. Wait, 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 wait. Do you not even have to collect all of the coins for so crates? Uh, I guess not. Okay, yeah, Rain did not collect them all, but still got so crates and has returned him. So that's pretty dang cool. So I gave them the full manual this time around. We didn't have that for DOS, and I gave them something I definitely didn't have in DOS for DOS. I gave them the yellow pages. Now, Ooh, it, okay. for DOS, I just put in what all the codes were to go to all the various places. But I actually gave them the full manual and, and the yellow pages, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Let me, let me go and take a look just to see. Like, I, I love when manuals actually, like, try to fit the vibe of... Like, they, they try to fit the vibe of the original IP, you know, uh, and considering that you're, we're time traveling using a phone booth and using various phone numbers here, it's it's great. Yep. So one thing that you can do here, right? Lon's not really doing that. That bread, you know, box in there, I think you, you can either unlock it or or you pick it up and you drop it. I think I think you unlock the, the box that's in the kitchen. Now we can get into that bread box. Ooh, yummy. I like bread. Oh my gosh. The, yeah, you weren't lying at all when you said, like, this looks like a phone book. Yeah. Yeah, let me pop this It even this has up. ads in it for everything. Yeah, look at that. The circuits of time directory, history at your fingertips. Yeah. Isn't that cool, everybody? Video games are so cool. Oh, there's Marie's Cakes Bakery. Okay, for Marie Antoinette. Okay. Yeah. No bread. Let them eat cake. Yeah. Let me go ahead and crop that and save it. There you go. See, cakes for all occasions. Catering available. That's nice. Okay. <gasps> I'm sorry. I got to the next one. <coughs> uh, okay. Okay. So okay. Peachy's caught in a weird spot here. Peachy, where are you? What happened? She got caught in a spot that every time she'd get up, it would put her into the um into the the fence, and then she'd fall over again. Oh, yeah, that is rough. Okay, everybody, this is why I gasped. Joni's Barbecue Shack. Flame broiled is our specialty. Try our juicy steaks cooked over an open flame. <sighs> yep. I'm... I can't. I can't even. Rem remember, she's one hot chick. She's one hot chick. Oh, you know it. Okay. Ah, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, nothing else here is like nearly as edgy when it comes. No, never mind. Uh, maybe oh, no, maybe no, the Sigmund Freud one. That one's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, so chat. I, I will. I will say the one thing that I I, I found so far, right? That is different, well, not different, but worse in this version than the DOS one, is the um, the Michelangelo area. Excellent. Right, <laughs> you're more likely to like get hit and everything in in that um, version and and fall. Yeah. Than, than you are in like the other. And the collision comes from above you, and so it's real bad. 
Yeah, I, oh my gosh, Rain is trying to do that right now. Wee! I know! Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, I love this! Oh, this is so good, Corn Dan. It is wonderful. Okay, okay, I love this. I unironically think this is hilarious. Okay, let's see. I've got another one to take a screenshot of. I enjoyed the Freud and Mom custom couches, but that's not the best so far. The Nero's oh, fiddle about fat. The Oedipus, uh, the, uh, ask him about the Oedipus special. Just, yeah, I know the Oedipus special. Nero's Fiddle Factory. This is pretty good. Because there were four convenient locations, but now there's only one. Then three. Then two. There's now just, there's only one there's left. only one. Oh, Nero. <laughs> okay, Sam and Buffalo doing the platforming. Are you going to climb the mountain? Whee! I think somehow missed just a little bit. The, yeah, the platforming yep. in this that, is... That mountain spot is, is, is terrible. Yeah. Like, even in this version, it's terrible. I love that you can fall from a platform that's technically uh, at the same elevation as you uh -huh. onto another platform that's of the same elevation. It's just how physics work in video games, you know? Sometimes you just fall... Uh... uh Along the x-axis, not the z-axis, you know? No, Salmon Buffalo, no! Okay, let me let me see. The, the rain yeah. may have a good idea, right? The beer is 99 cents. You know, he wants to get Abraham Lincoln to come with him. You need a penny, right? Yeah. He's got a dollar. He can buy a beer. Well, buy a beer then. He did. Oh, no one is wiser than Socrates. Wee. Well... Yeah, but he so Salmon needs to go talk to Socrates generally there first. There we go. Yeah. I like that that's the answer that wins him over, just saying, Hey, you're the smartest dude. He's like, Yeah. Okay, I'll go in your weird box. You know what? Yeah. If somebody like sucked up to me and said I'm the smartest dude just to get me inside their box, I'd go. Heck yeah. I know course. you would. Yeah, there's... Well, yeah, if you know how smart I am, you're going to have, like, cool stuff in there. And that's how I get axe murdered. I mean, I did... Okay, like, the first... The first escape room I ever did was, like, in a dark parking lot inside a trailer, and we, uh, like, ju just... A mobile trailer, you know, uh, not a camper, not even a fancy one, like probably from the 90s or something. It looked like we, we seriously sat there and we were like, OK, do we tell people where we're going just in case we do get axe murdered? Like maybe that would be wise. And I think we did message some people to let them know where we were. <laughs> well. It was a genuine concern. So to get to the bread box, you gotta um, give her flowers, which you can get. There are seeds you can get. Lot has them. Okay. Uh, it looks like Rain is trying to give a violin to Beethoven. Beethoven's but, but, but busy. Beethoven doesn't care about that. No, violins and, suck. And, and is it a violin or is it a fiddle? Fiddle. I mean. It's technically a fiddle, but it's oh no, the same. salmon buffalo! Oh, you're on the very hard section, the the section that honestly might just screw you over one billion times. Like, what is this randomness? How is this allowed? How can you put this in a video game and expect anybody to do it? There's a dude in here. Cordan, how doable is, like... I mean, is, it's doable. Is there any reliable way to actually get through here? So the, the rocks, right, generally speaking, aren't terrible. You can jump over them. Yeah. Um, you just have to be careful about the, the paint. Yeah, the drippy drops are 
pretty bad. Uh, it Luckily, it seems like if you make it to the second screen, it's a little bit easier just because you have, you're, you're able to see a little bit more. Yep, uh, up until you get to the top. Yeah, the middle layer is a bit rough when it comes to the rocks, though. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back so. Why? Why am I thinking of? Uh, what is it? The Treehouse of Horrors? Uh, whatever the game is that Faizu used to run. Uh, I don't know. Because there were some very self-defeating sections in that. Oh my gosh. It might, Bart's House of Weirdness, that one. Uh, that might have been done by Capstone as well, honestly. I wouldn't be too surprised. So, Peachy's got two things she can go do, well, three things she can go do right now. One is she can take that lighter back to, like, the Stone Age and teach the guy how to do fire. Okay. Right, she can take the flower... To, to Freud and give it to his mom, right? Which will let you get to the, the bread box. <laughs> right? The key is for the violin case. It's so perfect that you have to go to Freud's mom. Like, hey, Freud. Hey, Freud's mom. How you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see ties between this and Bart's House of Weirdness, but... Honestly, I'm not seeing very many. I'm seeing, like, the taking of Beverly Hills, uh, Dino Wars, which which are great, you know. Uh, Primetime Super Slap Shot, whatever the crap that is. A hockey game, probably. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, it seems like most of the people who worked on this worked on the same set of games. What about audio? Did Did any of you do anything cool with audio? Douglas? No? Douglas? Oh, you did additional programming for Clay Fighter. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's hopeful. Okay, there we go. I found somebody with actually more games in their list. Oh, they produced Home Alone 2 for DOS. Perfect. Uh, this is David yeah, Turner. Yeah. Uh, worked on Wayne's World for DOS, Beverly Hillbillies, and Homie D. Clown. They were the producer for Homie D. Clown, Corn Dan. Well, that makes sense because both this and Homie D. Clown were Capstone games. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm sold. Uh, Zorro for DOS as well. You know, just all of the classics. Miami Vice for DOS. Oh, this guy has seen some nightmares. My gosh. I love This it. reminds me of when we had New York Warriors on years ago, right? And we I got contacted by the guy who did it. Oh, really? It was either that or Homie D Clown. I think it was New York Warriors because that came before Homie and Homie just used the same backgrounds. Yeah. And so I, I had a good talk with him on Twitter years ago. He's a good guy. Just, you know, caught up and sometimes this is what you need to do to make money. Yeah. And honestly, would I make this to make money? Sure. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Like, the pay was good enough. If I had a regular paycheck, I would absolutely work on this. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? I would probably laugh. I'd be like, holy crap, oh, yeah. this is kind of jank. But at the same time, it's kind of fun to do. I I, I can make something. Like, I, I, I can at least make platforming more reasonable than what's happening on Peachy Chan's screen. The The difficult thing is when you're, uh, you're not technically controlling two separate characters because they are always together. They're but together. But it's kind of a white sprite. Collision is a nightmare. Uh, but not as bad as it could be because they're so close to each other. Excellent! Hey, Lon has Beethoven. Yep, and Peachy has Socrates. So what was the solution to getting Beethoven? You gotta go find the note. What note? 
Well, if you listen when, when he's there, right? He's doing, what is it, the Ninth Symphony or whatever? You know, dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Well, well. so if you listen, he's just going dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. He's trying to figure it out. Yeah, so you got to bring him that... Oh. What a... St <laughs> I have a feeling that he pro... Like, yeah. Probably based the entire symphony off of the first four notes and not the first three. Well, yeah, but if you only know the first three, you're missing 25% right there, my friends. Yeah, he's just kind of stupid in this, I guess. It, it's fair. Not everybody has to be a genius, you know? Especially in a video game. Gosh, are there any geniuses in video games? I can't think of any character in a video game that is smarter than, like, the average human being I've met. Not a single one. Yeah, and it looks like there may have been another crash. Uh, and so, it, you know, the players have been encouraged and told that they can save. Saving is allowed. Yep. Uh, and saving will help if there are any crashes. Uh, even then... The tiebreaker, if everybody collects all the dudes, the tiebreaker is based off of score. And score is somewhat based off of how long it takes to complete the game. Uh, yep. be because of that, it's not necessarily a bad thing to get a crash. But if one person keeps getting like a billion crashes, then that's probably a problem, you know? Ah, yay! Einstein can balance mine checkbook. Good. Whoa! Ah! The screaming every single time. I love it, Corn Dan. Honestly. Uh... I want to scream like that, like, for real someday. Just be in a situation where it feels appropriate to scream like Bill and Ted. Whoa! I mean, I guess, like, if I go on a ride at Disneyland and it's not really that scary. I guess I've done that, yeah. Okay, never mind. I've been Bill and Ted. I've, I've done my time as Bill and Ted. I've laughed like, I've screamed like that before. I've gone through tubes. You know, been to Ren Fair. That's basically what they're doing in Bill and Ted. Just going to really fancy, like, because this this isn't real. V movies aren't yeah. real. Video games aren't real. Um, <laughs> what about birds? Birds. It depends uh, on the bird. If it's got, if it can fly. Probably a drone. You know what? Why even make fake birds when you could just strap cameras to them? Like, really small cameras. Like, that that's so much more practical for the conspiracy theorists. Just put cameras on the birds. Really small sure. cameras. I don't like where Lawn is right now. Because the walking sounds like a heartbeat. And I don't... Yeah, a little bit. And it's a little too fast for my comfort. This gives me anxiety. Lon, get it through the maze so I can stop freaking out. Wow. Per chat, the pigeons would never betray us. They're the first to betray us. Let me correct you. Pigeons are too stupid to betray us. I don't know about that. I mean, pigeons are pretty stupid. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Oh, my gosh. No, Lon, you got kicked. The guards caught you and threw you out. Yeah. Then again, I... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> One of the ugliest birds I've ever seen in my life was a pigeon. Okay, I was in Brazil. 
uh, walking around and just in someone's yard, like on their uh, front steps, maybe not in their on their lawn, but on their front steps, there was this giant pigeon. I kid you not, it was per, at least the size of a pug. It's oh, feathers yes. in disarray and just walking around and I'm like, what happened to you, you freaking like super pigeon? It was a mega, no lawn. You didn't even see the guard, but they saw you. Uh oh. So, Ichi kind of has found a, a a bit of a strategy for the paint. As long as you're in the air, it can't hurt you. Oh, if you just jump through the paint, you're gonna be fine. Now, now, the boulders can still hurt you, but you can jump through the paint. That's actually huge. <laughs> The paint is so stupid. I love it. Oh, 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 PG Chad. Okay, good job tanking a little bit of the paint. That that last jump is really difficult to make, though. Uh, when jumping to the right on the second layer there. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not. Sh I'm not sure why. If it's just. Like, you have to be a little bit closer to the edge. Not only that, but you're also dealing with all of the freaking paint and boulders and crap. So the boulders, right? Like, you can contact a boulder, and it'll wait until you, you land, and then, you know, they'll just bogus you. Uh, that might be what's happening if they're hitting a boulder while jumping. Okay, there goes Peachy Chan. Oh, got the paint. It's fine. It's just paint. It's just paint. It's not a big deal. Oh, no. It's just, it's a really difficult jump to the right. It's a really difficult jump. Yep. Look, it's just a step to the right. Uh, right. It's a jump to the left. It's a step to the right. Yeah. Put your hands on your hip, Corn Dan. I, I've already done that. Congrats. I know how to do it. Well, good, good. I'm proud of you. This isn't freaking and, and Rocky think... Horror for Commodore 64. This is Bill and Ted for Amiga. But I want to point out, right? PG Chat is up. We are doing. We are doing the time warp. Yeah, we literally warped through time. Well, PG Chan has Michelangelo and is doing. You can doing... just. You can just go. There's uh, an to elevator. The elevator. Obviously, you know, go. To... Why climb the scaffolding? When you can just and take the elevator. And then there's a violin case. Just go get the violin. Right, you got to unlock it with the key. Oh, you do have a key, Peachy Chan. Yeah. A violin is in the corner. Ha ha. Okay, Lon is on to the drip section. Let me tell you. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is reminding me. Okay, I've been helping out with an escape room at some conventions. And the last one that I went to, uh, I loved the convention, but let me tell you, the ceiling was leaking a lot. It was leaking a lot. We had to put multiple trash cans around the room in order to catch the water. And I'm like, this is so ridiculous. This is, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, and so whenever we had a group enter in, I'm like, just ignore the trash cans. They're collecting the water from the ceiling. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just ignore it. Just hotel things, you know. <laughs> So there's two things left for, that Peachy can do, right? One is go go buy a beer, right? Billy the Kid, which she might not go back to, right? Because I think she thinks that she's already done all of that. Excellent! <laughs> Excellent! But now you, you've got to go to Freud's house and drop the bread box. 
So you know what's in the bread box? Bread. Um, a Twinkie for Genghis There's Khan. There's a Twinkie in there. Yeah. Of course. I mean, why wouldn't there be a Twinkie inside a bread box for Genghis Khan? Uh, now, everybody, we do have referees helping out with this, and I want to give them a shout out uh, because we've got Yoshi Fan X didn't see Bill and Ted until 2022. Sorry that you went that long without that movie. We have not elect out. Wait, this isn't RoboCop. Uh, correct. This isn't RoboCop for once. We also have Min and Dez's excellent refereeing. Very nice. And Clades never saw Bill and Ted, but he had the phone booth toy for some reason anyway. And finally, Evil Duke put them in the Iron Maiden. Gumby. Uh, thank you, referees, for helping out. Uh, at this point, it appears that Rain is in the lead with 11 dudes. That's quite a few dudes. Uh, Peachy in second with nine dudes. Lon in third with eight. And Salmon Buffalo, unfortunately, in last with six dudes. But again, anything can change. Uh, we have a lot of time. And Salmon Buffalo has had some issues with crashes. I believe... I. I Unfortunately, I think Sam and oh. Buffalo had the second crash and is the only one to have crashes here. I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing, or right? I mean, they've still gotten seven, or he's gotten seven. And, you know, so if if you were to go finish, right, the game, you know, if everybody were to finish the game and only once, right? Sam would have a better score because they would have done it faster. It's true. Salmon did just jump oh, through paint, and that may be a revelation to Salmon Buffalo that, hey, I can jump through the paint. And that would be a very helpful re revelation to have. Yeah, I... Oh my gosh, that stupid final jump on Michelangelo's oh. is so hard. So the, the, in both of these cases of what's left, right, the manual gives them hints. Right, for Billy the Kid, it says level three. Maybe you are thirsty and can get a drink at the bar. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. And for Sigmund Freud, try dropping something. It may break open. Okay, what... I forget. What do you need to break for Sigmund Freud? What is this? Uh, you, you, need oh. to, you need to drop the bread box. The bread box has... A, um... Why? Lon just got a game over? You can get a game over in this game? You sure can! What? You gotta... Because you gotta get it done by the end of the day. When does the day end? At, like, 2 o'clock. Or... 8 o'clock or whatever it is at night. Whoa! Oh, that's right, because the presentation happens at a specific time. Okay, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and day. tell you that time travel works different in every single game ever, and uh, it's not the most consistent in Bill and Ted, and that's fine. Nope. They they embrace it. I'm, I'm fine with that, you know? Go ahead and make it a little that's silly. So, for, like, Peachy, that might be, you know, Peachy and Lon, that may be a good thing, right? Because... Rain, right? Right, if Rain doesn't get it sort of soon, he's going to game over too. Oh, yeah. And so I can tell you, right, from experience, the speed runs 10 minutes, right? If you already kind of know what's going on and where you want to go, right, which they should by now, right? Yeah. It's, it, it should be pretty easy to clear up most of what you're doing. So the only thing that, like, for instance, Excellent. this may be a good thing for Peachy because she was struggling with the dollar bill. Well, once you go back to the bar, right, maybe she'll notice that she can buy a drink. Yeah, that honestly could be pretty helpful. Uh, yeah, the, th the thing is, like, uh, even if you have one step backwards, there still can be progress made there. And Salmon and Buffalo oh, yeah. managed to get through Michelangelo. It took a little while, but it's a pretty difficult section. 
I still so I st- it, okay, in a weird on. way, yeah. right? Sam and Buffalo may have the advantage here, right? In that they essentially restarted early. You know, provided they can capitalize on it. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! But rain's gonna complete. So rain needs to call Ted's mom, Missy. Hey, Ted's mom. Okay, and is that all you need to do to finish? Yeah. Call Missy. Yeah, she's on the way. Okay, is that now it? Now you gotta go back outside. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at that sprite. She's collecting the boys. Yup. Yeah. I guess. Hello, San Dimas. Oh, hello, San Dimas. Genghis Khan. Okay. Michelangelo. Excellent. Nero Caesar. Ludwig van Beethoven. So great. so great! Billy the Kid! Albert Einstein! Abraham Lincoln! Napoleon Bonaparte! Marie Antoinette! Miss Joan of Arc! Dr. Sigmund Freud! Rude. Well, okay, they pass. Good job. Okay, well, there we go. I didn't see what his score was. Uh, well, the score was up there for a little while. That's why we've got referees, and it looks like it was 250,400 points. Not a bad score. Thank you so much, refs. You rock. Excellent. Yeah, I'd say that was an excellent score. Honestly, yeah. any score above zero for beating the game is uh, going to be good. Actually, yep. even getting zero points, if you beat the game, you beat the game. Sure. Excellent. Yeah, now Rain essentially is speedrunning the game and trying to get all of the dudes in order to get the best score possible. Uh, again, speed very much is a factor when it comes to uh, the score that you get at the end of this game. Oh no, Salmon Buffalo, yep. you got caught. Yeah, this maze is a little frustrating, unfortunately. Like In the DOS version, you can clip through it. Yeah. And so Joan it. of Arc in, in DOS is like trivial. You just kind of wait until the first one goes by and then bump your way through the, the maze and then you're fine. It's so good. Yeah, I, I've been doing a little, like, a glitch hunting lately, because I've been playing a new game, and, uh, like, I've really, really enjoyed just, like, doing some uh, uh, speed tech theorizing and being like, if I do this, maybe I'll be able to skip a boss, and yeah, I've, I've figured out in an RPG how to skip one of the bosses, it's... It's being a lot of fun. Unfortunately, Lon got caught by the guards. No. Yeah, if the guards see you, it's too late. They're going to get you. Which, yep. I mean, makes sense for guards. You know, if you see somebody and chase after them, after they go around a corner and you don't see them past that corner, you can generally assume that they kept going. You know, that... And so you you can like unless there are branching paths, in which case you might be a little bit confused, but like use your brain. Come on. Silly guards in movies and video games who just yep. give up. Must have been the wind, right, chat. Uh, there we go. Okay, Lon managing to get out of the line of sight. 
for that guard. Nope, nope. Oh, you got to be patient. You know, you, you do have time at the top, but this game is only so long, you know. You, uh, you're you going to run out of time, and the more time that you spend getting caught by guards, the fewer points you're going to get at the end of the game. Science. Yep. Okay, rain currently getting rained on in Michelangelo's area here. Uh, just got to keep abusing the jumping invulnerability for the drippy drops. And if you can do that, then you can probably make it to the end. And there we go. Not a bad attempt at all. Oh. My back, she is killing me. Okay. Run on sentence there, Michelangelo. But honestly, this Whatever. was before sentences existed, so it's fine. I, I, I will, you know, let <laughs> Michelangelo butcher the English language. It's okay. Yeah. I uh, do love that, like, the whole concept of shoving too many people into your phone box actually comes into play here. Uh, although I'm pretty sure in the original movie, they just still kept everybody in the same phone box. They're well, like, where, where are you going to hide them? At the mall. See? <laughs> Rain took them to the mall, Corn. Like, they should have done that earlier before they broke the phone machine, you know? The phone machine, the phone booth, whatever. Phone time machine. Ooh, at the Wax Museum, that's a good idea, but do you think you can make Genghis Khan stand still for an hour or two? Not happening. If you give him, like, Twinkies, sure. That's why you let him run around at the mall and go shopping and eat Twinkies and not use weapons. Excellent! Okay, Lon got Beethoven. Honestly, I feel like Lon knows mostly what he's doing. He, he's doing a pretty good job. Uh, Sam and Buffalo, I think Sam and Buffalo is pretty close to the end here, but also running low on time. Oh, uh, you got time, right? Please check your directory and dial again. Party on, dude. Okay, uh, Sam and Buffalo trying to figure out what to do here, and uh, accidentally walked out. How do you how do you get Marie Antoinette? You you just you gotta go. She's in she's in jail, so you just gotta go through like jail. Okay. That's do all you, you gotta do. Do you have to use a key? Nope. Okay, maybe Sam and Buffalo just talked to the wrong door. Yeah, yeah. You she's she's the the door all the way on the right. Okay. Sam Buffalo hey, and you can, like you can try, try. All, three board, all three doors. It doesn't really matter. You you get to the third one, it opens up, and, and Marie Antoinette's in there. Okay. Maybe you just need to walk up against the door a little bit more. Lon getting all of the coins. They do contribute to your score, so not necessarily a bad thing. I'm glad that if you walk up to the guy, the the wise man on top of the mountain, uh, he just like casts a spell to send you down to the bottom. He's like, "It's a squat a lot." It's the fastest way to get down there. It's true. Definitely is a squat a lot moment. Boop, boop, boop. I love that one of the refs have has listed that uh, their player they're tracking is Maiden. Uh, I mean, dudeless. Yeah, uh, which honestly is a terrible fate to have, but that's life. Sometimes, sometimes you just don't have dudes. True. Yeah. Everybody should should make it their 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 goal in life to have a dude. I've got a dude. I mean, in the Bill and Ted sense, I've got a dude. Cool. Which one? My wife. 
Oh, I guess so. Every, I, I mean, everybody's a dude in this sense. Yeah, I guess both Bill and Ted are dudes to each other, and they're being excellent to each other. Yeah, well, it, it definitely says, right? Um... Ah, oh, there that, we go! You know, Sam you're... and Buffalo has Marie Antoinette! Marie Antoinette, get! Right? Just remember, when you locate a dude, you must figure out how to get him or her, her to go with you. Yes, there are female dudes. Yeah, I... Depending on where you live, like, dude is definitely a lot more used for everybody. I would say that that's not... Typically the case in Utah. <laughs> I don't know. They're, Utah's they're weird. They're in San Dimas, California. Yeah, and over in San Dimas, California, dude is basically, you can call everything a dude. You can be like, hey, hand me that dude, and they give you a stick of gum, you know? Like, it's it's I don't it's think that's how it works. It's absolutely how it works. What are you talking about? Yeah, and if people don't want to be called dudes, you, yeah, they can say, nah, don't call me a dude. And then just respect it. Yeah, that's how respect works. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead. I don't think you're soft locked. I think you can just go back in the, uh, back in the bar. The, the, the yeah. bar is to the, um, the left to clarify right. and, and yeah the kid. to clarify somebody in chat said sam and buffalo might be oh, soft no, they might be. Uh, yeah. as a saloon is closed by the temperance league the saloon is closed by the temperance league what why do they do that i just saw that on lon's uh well how do you get them to open it back up don't know. Okay, so if you, I don't know, we'll we'll see if they can figure it out. Maybe if they return after going to the uh, to buy a beer, maybe it'll be open or buying a soda or something. If that's the case, that is some Sierra crap right there, and I didn't know that. Happen? It doesn't happen in the DOS version. You can go back in there, or right? it's just empty. Yeah, what the crap? That's kind of amazing, but not good. Okay, Salmon Buffalo has the violin. I don't think Salmon's gonna quite get there, though. But with 10 dudes scored, we're very close. Okay, there's Nero. Just what I need to save Rome, right? But, say, salmon's got, right, like the easy, well, Salmon's going to get caught at 11. Yeah, I, I think there's not going to be enough time to get the final dude. It's like 10 seconds left. Oh no, maybe till midnight. I guess till midnight. Hey, there's Abe Lincoln. Don't you just give Abe a dollar? Give Abe a penny. Because his face is on it. Oh, where's the penny? It's the change for buying a beer. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, with that said, Salmon Buffalo is in second place, so, like, uh, yeah, th this is something. It's still well, progress. Yeah. We haven't necessarily, like, in general, you know, if players think that they're softlocked, uh, they are allowed to ask... But, oh my gosh, beautiful. Uh, okay, saloon closed by order of the Temperance League. 
Dairy Bean Saloon's closed. Okay, Lon currently doing drippy drops. That is life in wherever this is. Whenever this is. I know, the Sistine Chapel. Sistine's everywhere, like... I mean, Bill and Ted, they're Sistines. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> That's the best joke that I came up with all day, okay? You're gonna live. I'm gonna get through it. Whoa! I'm gonna get yelled at because uh, I promise no, no Sierra like, which, to my knowledge, you know, playing through it and and I didn't even think about it here because I played through this a little bit here, right? But just to make sure it was the same, and you know what I did? I went and bought a beer as soon as I went in, and and and, and, and fought right then and there, you know? Yeah. I'd be really interested to see if like there is some workaround somehow else. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea. No idea. And it's funny because that same issue is hurting Rain and Salmon in two different ways. Yeah. Rain can't get Billy the Kid. Salmon can't get the change to go get Abraham Lincoln. This is so stupid. It prevents you from getting <laughs> two characters. Wait, question. Don't you have to get Billy the Kid before the Temperance League closes it? Apparently. So, so you get one shot when you go in there. This is so stupid. Oh is my it? gosh. Okay. There we go. Salmon Buffalo starting back up. It's not going to be enough time, I though. I don't think there's enough time, but might as well grab the, as many dudes as you can, you know? Uh, actually, then again, uh, right. with Salmon Lon's Buffalo's crash the at the problem. very beginning. Uh, but with five minutes left, right? Yeah. Let me go Ichi ahead. She could, and... as long as she goes and fights Billy the Kid now. Yes. Punch Billy in the face. No, punch everybody else in the face. Oh, okay, that's right, yeah. Punch everybody else in the face. Temperance League is like, yeah, go for it. So I wonder if if you start the fight and then leave, right, maybe that's what triggers the Temperance League, and I've never even thought about it. You know? Yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm just checking with oh, the rest she... to see their opinion, and I don't think we will be giving Sam and Buffalo additional time. It I don't think it's going to help. Help, yeah. Right, so Peachy will go. So Peachy could finish up in time, and, and that could put her in first. Right, depending on what her score is. Yeah, if she finishes that, that that would be right. huge. But, okay. She needs to do. She needs to go to Freud, drop the box, get the Twinkie, and get Genghis Khan, and Marie Antoinette. And you could do both of those in three minutes. Yeah, this is this is very much doable. Let's see if PG Chen can manage to beat the game. I will say thank you, Dash Near, for the raid. Welcome on in. We are saving dudes. Yeah. And bogus. Oh my gosh. What what causes you to sometimes say bogus here? So, if you fall, right? At all. Yeah. You know, that's bogus. I mean, but I've seen falls without them saying bogus. A lot of falls without them saying bogus. It's just occasionally. Maybe there's a bogus, like, timeout. You have to wait 10 seconds before the next bogus. I don't know. Ah! 
Okay, we're getting Marie Antoinette on Peachy's screen. Here's the deal. Even if... Uh, well, she is currently in third place. She's the only one that can move. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lon... Lon... Lon is soft-locked. Lon could still move up to 11 dudes, though. Yes. There's not much time here. There, like, I don't think Lon has the time to do it. Never mind. I think you're right. I think it's just Peachy Chan uh, who really matters at this point. And she could technically move from third to first. Right now. She moves now. Go. 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 You gotta go. go. You gotta go. You're waiting too long. You're, you're gonna... You paused. You or could still... You crashed? If this is a crash. That would be unfortunate. That would be so unfortunate. Oh, I think she's paused. I hope it's I hope paused. It's not a crash. I hope it's paused. If this is a crash, this game's going in the tube and bin. Well, I did tell them to save. I mean, you know, they could save. Trip, 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 trip. I think it's a crash because when I check the feed, I'm not seeing her at all. Oh, no. So, so at least the feed crashed. Yeah, the feed crashed. Okay. Well, it's back up. Wait, wait. Okay. So she's still, she's at 11. Okay. OBS kept disconnecting and reconnecting. Oh, uh, she's going to be so mad that she could fit. She, she's not going to have enough time now. She has to, to drop that box in, in Freud's house. Yeah, with that said, she is depositing the dude right here at the very end. She entered the number before, uh, but with that said, that's still not enough time to get the final dude, uh, putting her at a solid 11 dudes collected. Yes, I am calling that time... Uh, yeah, and Peachy Chan is saying, I have a local recording if needed, and I think, I think we're fine. And no extra time needed for players. Okay, so, as it turns out, we've got a very clear winner here with the only person to beat the game, Rain of Soton. Salmon Buffalo taking a second, getting 11 dudes at about the 50 minute mark, Peachy Chan 11 dudes at about the 59 minute mark a little bit after that and finally lon ttr getting eight dudes all of them did a pretty good job dealing with the quirks of the game and i had a lot of fun let me go ahead and welcome rain in if he would like to chat uh join general voice if you want blah 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 hey welcome everybody if i talk while trying to uh, uh, type and I say st other stuff. Oh, there's Rain. Hello, Rain. Sorry, I'm, I, I, I want to finish the second goddamn run. I left Billy <laughs> in there the second time and I didn't realize that's what the insert was for after. And I'm like, God, after every second, I'm going to finish this one. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, let me just say, we found out that uh, it looks like there are probably two soft locks in this game. Uh, that Well, there are uh, two ways to soft lock that are the same. They're the same, it's just that you can either lose Billy the Kid or lose Abraham Lincoln because of the bar. Uh, and yeah... I, I would say that that makes the DOS version of this a little bit superior, but you're you're having a good run right now. It's going. I'm going to do something here. This took me... I just wanted to get the second one done, because... But yeah, interesting game. I honestly have to thank the manual for the bread box, because 
I was so stumped on yep. that for so long. And it's like, you got to dry drop something. It may break open. I'm like, well, you, I tried it in the room. Like, well, this is a, like an Amiga game. So it's probably like you can only do one thing per room. So I assumed that I had to just do it outside after that. Like, because I tried in the room. So I was like, and then it worked. I was like, oh, thank God. <sighs> yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm still dying because the DOS version made it so that, like, there weren't soft locks with the bar. But, but I, it, it might hard lock when, when Billy the Kid goes to fight. It does actually crash uh, every now and then. Yep. So I'm really curious, like, if there is a workaround, if they ran into that for Amiga, or if it really is just tough luck, well, you're out of I it. Mentioned that the, I mentioned that the... They mentioned in the thing that you can press insert to break in. I'm wondering if that's the thing because no, no, I thought to... that was to fight. No, I, I'm wondering if that's it, but I haven't gone to go back to check that because I realized that after I restarted again that the mix. It's a thing I, I I talked about, right? If you remember, I mentioned about setting insert, right? So that's the thing yeah. I mentioned. So I'm wondering if they realized it was a thing and they put that in well, the manual because people were complaining. Well, let, let's let's find out, right? You can go there like right now. Yeah, I can. Hold on a sec. I just. I would say make a save if you're wanting to finish this run. No, this run will finish no matter what. This run's finished. Every, this oh, already okay. done. It's just if I can go press insert to break into the into the saloon because I mentioned that. No, okay, my it's not working no, for me. I it's just it. a fight. Beautiful, uh, beautiful. Just yeah, I'm just gonna go trade for music and we're done. All right. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, I want to see you get high score. Come on. Ah, oh, good. You got a music note from Caveman. Yeah, and apparently Beethoven realizes I suck so bad from that Caveman music. He's like, I'll give you that lesson. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a good guy. Honestly, not sure I how he like heard the Caveman have... music. I also like that you have to call in to finish the game. <laughs> I, I I appreciate that, right? Missy's got to pick you up, other. I appreciate that you have to call and then go back outside. <laughs> Heck yeah, there we go. Look, the timer is still going up. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, for every hour, it gives you additional points. Wait, is that a lower? No, 261,000? No, it's like 10,000 higher. Oh, wow. Score. Uh, that, that is... Yeah, that's definitely a, at least 10,000 points higher. Very, very nice, Rain. Yeah. If you give... If, maybe just remember, people, if they give you the manual, there's nuggets of wisdom in there until there isn't. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I did give you guys the manual for very specific reasons, because it had those nuggets of wisdom, because... The bread box is so stupid otherwise, right? Yeah. Like, if you were to, if, that, if that wasn't there, I would have froze on that bread box. I would have never uh -huh. gotten Genghis Khan. I got everyone else but Genghis until I was like, what do you do with the bread box? I mean, yeah, it, I, I, and, and, yeah, go ahead. But that's exactly why I left it. Like this game can be so obtuse sometimes in what it wants from you uh, that I left in like the little hints like that and, and if we had played on, let's say, difficulty two, everybody would have cleared it because you wouldn't have had to worry about the bread box. No. On difficulty two, if the bread box is to break open for the Twinkie isn't there, it's easy. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm like, I realize, like, what, is the bread box going to have, like, when I was flipping out between the music, and I was like, how is there a music note in bread box? And I was like, oh, wait, I forgot to give the caveman fire. And I was like, <laughs> wow. Of all the things to forget, like, not that you guys know this, but I put in a notepad plus plus window next to it. All of the phone numbers, all of the Ooh. little hints in there. And I was like, I was looking over and looking over. I'm like, what am I forgetting? And I kept staring at Sigmund Freud, drop something break. And I'm like, what? And that's what made me go back to the manual to reread that line. And I'm like, okay. <sighs> <laughs> I was I was I was thinking maybe you use the I was like okay maybe you get the bread box you give it the guillotine you break it open the the brutal old fashioned way oh no 
I now. yeah, I love that. Like that that's actually really interesting to me that like you took notes on some of the hints that you saw there, had it prepared so that you had easy quick reference. Uh yeah, we do try to provide uh some information ahead of time so that you aren't completely uh, left in the dark. And if you have the manual, you know, knowing where, uh, what information is possibly going to help and what information you can just leave behind. It, I it, mean, it takes practice. Like, just, just, I'll just put it in the competitor chat, but. Doot, doot, doot. Well, every... so I do have to, to oh, go uh, ahead to apologize a little bit because I promised you like no Sierra crap, right? Apparently you there was one no Sierra, Sierra crap. <laughs> well, well, technically you know, it was... wasn't. It technically wasn't. It was a different kind. Sierra bull crap is like you you need an item and then you complete five levels and it's like oh yeah, did you get that item? And you're like what? That's Sierra. Sierra's BS is you ate you ate the custard pie and now the Yeti needs it at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah, or or you got, or you're supposed to pick up some item in level one that's technically optional, but really not optional. Those are the two Sierra bullshits. Like you, you did something you weren't, or you didn't pick up the thing you were supposed to. That didn't seem like you needed. So, but I promise you, no soft locks. And, and I went and checked it because the DOS version doesn't have like that closed whatever. You just walk back in. So when I played through this, like it, you know, my 15 minutes of play to make sure this is fine, right? I beat the game. And, you know, but I knew I went in there and bought the beer and then fought everybody. So I didn't even think about it. Well, I, I, the thing is, is I picked him up, but I think I, what happened was, is I had two people with me and he was the third and I forgot to oh, trade him. Oh, no. He wasn't coming with me because you're only allowed to take two people in the phone booth at a time. And so I think I forgot to drop him because he, I know oh, he came with me. In the park, with him, but I used oh, my no. third one. That's what happened the second run when I was trying to go for a better score. But like the first run, uh, because everything was individual, like I just, I'm like, get him tournament, get him tournament, get him tournament. <laughs> I'm like, if he says it's that fast, then maybe I'll get a second chance. Then I'll worry about optimizing. First, figure out where everything is, what you do with everything, and then you can hammer it. Yep. I love that. Like, I hate that that's doable, but I love it as well because I love broken video games. But that said, great job, Rain. You managed to be the only person to beat the game during the hour. And honestly, like, like figuring out, uh, like taking notes, making sure that you didn't lose information that you got, and also figuring out some of the stupid paint drippy drops and how to actually get through that section everybody's I, I got that... through it eventually but yeah God, i would love to see someone who's a mario pro go through that because i don't think they would survive well those boulders are, are a plus the paint drops are a plus man. it is so good oh they're but gonna they... get you i'm like any speed run of that game means you do michelangelo first right like you you potentially um, go to so, aim get the key, but you probably do Michael. So you're, it's probably easier, Lee, right? You do Socrates first, right? Because you get the dollar. Then you, you go to Billy the Kid, you get the, the penny and Billy the Kid. So you, you drop those two off, right? Yeah. Then Abraham Lincoln to get the key and Abraham Lincoln. I, I do have to. And warn then Michelangelo. We're we're just about to raid Sky Bill, so like I appreciate I appreciate all of this, but we are going to be done for the day. Thank you everybody, and thank you Billy the Kid for breaking the game as usual with DOS and everything else. Uh, yeah, raid messages. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent, Rain. Don't forget. Fe females can be dudes too. It's in the manual. Uh, yeah, per the they manual. If and, they want to be dudes. Yeah, and if you don't want to be a dude, that's fine. You can go ahead and say that. Okay. Uh, yeah, just be yeah. excellent, everyone. Be, be excellent. excellent to each other. See ya. Party on. Bye. Bye, Carnap. Bye. Okay, we're offline. Yeah, that was so much fun. Seriously. I was just staring at it like, God, I hope someone else has figured out the bread box, and I hope they don't. They, well, they did, but not, right? Like.
Well, I also found out that apparently uh, Multiply on my numpad <laughs> resets the uh, emulator. If you're wondering oh, what no. happened to me real early, I was typing 1-9 and I hit the uh, the Multiply button and it shut it off. And I'm like, really, is that the button? And then I did it again. And I'm like, okay, we are going to be very careful typing every number from now on. <laughs> Just glad it happened early and not late. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Well, I am dying of hunger, so I got to go find something. Yeah. Enjoy your food, bro. Hopefully it's a good burrito or something equivalent. Oh, you are speaking I, I, words of wisdom. I'm just glad, Rain, that you, you sounds like you enjoyed the game, even though it's stupid. It's stupid, but it's not a bad. It's, hey, it, bro. It's, it's bad, bad, but it's not. Uh, yes, bro. Tristan. You're still streaming. 